Meet Kojak, the bald-headed detective with a love for lollipops. In 1973, a gritty TV series hit the screens, marking the start of a crime-solving era. Remember the first time you tuned in? The streets of New York came alive as he, played by Telly Savalas, tackled crime with a unique charm that left viewers hooked. But here's the kicker, there's more to Kojak than meets the eye. As you binge watch, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. Funny anecdotes, shocking revelations, and heart-wrenching moments await. Can you recall a personal story sparked by the show? Has it ever influenced your life in unexpected ways? Now, brace yourself for a trip down memory lane. What's your most cherished Kojak memory? Share your experiences and stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear how the bald-headed detective left a lasting impact on your life. Stay tuned for more interesting facts and keep those stories coming. The show may have wrapped up, but it lives on in the tales of those who watched him weave through the gritty streets of 1970s New York. A classic television series from 1973 Kojak left an enduring mark on the crime drama genre. Led by the charismatic Telly Savalas, the show portrayed the tough yet humane attitude of a New York detective named Kojak. The narrative unfolded on the gritty streets of New York City, capturing the essence of the city's atmosphere. While other shows like Dragnet and Naked City laid the groundwork, Kojak distinguished itself by presenting a more authentic portrayal of New York City life. For viewers familiar with the city, the scene shot on actual city streets, complete with the blowing New York City detritus, evoked a sense of nostalgia and longing for home. Kojak's character, embodying the quintessential New York cop, was tough and witty. Beneath the exterior of toughness lay a softer, more compassionate core. The influence of Kojak on subsequent crime dramas, notably Law and Order, is undeniable. Kojak's unique expressions or kajakisms became a hallmark of the show, demonstrating a richness and variety akin to literature. Some memorable kajakisms include lines like, that's the way the baklava crumbles, baby, and you know what a vendetta is. It's when a whole bunch of people kill a whole bunch of people for years and years and years and like that. These witty phrases added depth to the character and became a part of the show's legacy. Despite Kojak being often remembered for the iconic catchphrase, who loves ya baby, there's a disservice to the depth and complexity of the show and Telly Savalas' portrayal. Kojak's impact extends beyond a single catchphrase. It's woven into the fabric of the narrative and characters influencing the landscape of crime dramas that followed. In retrospect, Kojak remains one of the best shows ever, offering a unique blend of toughness, humor, and genuine humanity in the realm of crime television. Telly Savalas, residing in Universal City, California, found himself cast as the lead in the crime drama series. Despite the demands of the show, Savalas prioritized family, regularly commuting to his suite during weekends and breaks to be with his loved ones. During the 1970s, the series transcended borders, reaching Hungarian audiences. Laszlo and Key, the Hungarian voice actor for Kojak, bore such a striking resemblance to Savalas that a black and white film was produced, deviating from the original series in both color and narrative. The film portrayed Kojak as a Hungarian-born, formerly clumsy cop who underwent a transformation upon emigrating. In a surprising twist, the final episode featured Telly Savalas' close friend, Danny Thomas, in a guest-starring role as an assistant chief of police. This unexpected collaboration added a personal touch to the conclusion of the series. In the expansive landscape of crime dramas, the Hungarian adaptation stands out as a unique testament to the international impact of the original series. The cross-cultural portrayal of Kojak's origins and transformation adds an intriguing layer to the narrative, showcasing the character's adaptability across different settings. In essence, Kojak's influence reaches far beyond the streets of New York. The series not only captivated domestic audiences, but also resonated with viewers worldwide, inspiring adaptations that took creative liberties while preserving the essence of the iconic detective. The roots of Theo Kojak's name may lead back to Poland, but on the gritty streets of 1970s New York, he proudly wears his Greek heritage. The switch was a nod to Telly Savalas' own background, seamlessly blending the character's origins with the actor's roots. Before Kojak became synonymous with Telly Savalas, he was almost Harry Orwell in Harry O, however, commitments across the Atlantic led to David Jansen stepping into the role. Savalas' unique charisma eventually found its home in the streets of New York, where his character left a lasting impression. 
beyond the lollipops, Kojak occasionally traded them for gum, adding a subtle layer to his character. The seemingly small detail highlighted his personality, revealing more than the tough exterior viewers initially encountered. Telly Savalas, based in Universal City, California, managed a delicate balance between the demanding show and family. Commuting to be with loved ones during breaks, he exemplified a commitment that extended beyond the screen. The series made unexpected waves in Hungary, where Laszlo and Key's uncanny resemblance to Savalas led to a unique adaptation. In a black and white film, Kojak's character transformed into a Hungarian-born cop, a creative departure that showcased the international appeal of the original series. The unexpected guest appearance of Telly Savalas' close friend, Danny Thomas, in the final episode added a personal touch. Thomas portrayed an assistant chief of police, bridging the gap between fiction and reality in a surprising collaboration. Kojak's influence stretched far beyond the confines of New York streets, the Hungarian adaptation's cross-cultural portrayal demonstrated his adaptability across different settings, resonating with audiences worldwide. In essence, he, whether Greek or Polish in name, became a symbol that transcended borders, leaving a lasting impact in the world of crime television. It's not just about catching criminals, it's about the cultural resonance that echoes globally. Lieutenant Kojak became famous for his catchphrase, Who loves ya, baby? which secured its spot as the 18th most recognized TV catchphrase, according to TV Guide. You can find this memorable line on the slipcase of the season one DVD set, showing its lasting popularity. Regrettably, the show came to an end after its fifth season due to declining viewership. This marked the conclusion of Kojak's run, highlighting the challenges the series faced in maintaining its appeal. Before Universal Television started the production of Kojak, they approached Abby Mann with a proposal to base a story on the 1963 Wiley Hoffert murders in Manhattan, a tragic event involving the brutal rape and murder of two young professional women. However, the decision to move forward with Kojak took the series in a different direction, away from the real-life crime that initially inspired it. These behind-the-scenes decisions and the subsequent cancellation shed light on the complexities of producing a successful television series. Despite being canceled, the show left a lasting impression on popular culture, with its catchphrase and unique charm staying in the memories of viewers. In the world of crime television, Kojak stands out as a unique series, not just for its gripping stories, but for the camaraderie it shared with Telly Savalas' friends. George Savalas, Tyg Andrews, Bruce Kirby, Jackie Cooper, Michael Constantine, Vincent Gardenia, Daniel J. Traventy, Bernie Copel, Shelley Winters, Eli Wallach, and Danny Thomas all made appearances, adding a personal touch to the gritty streets of New York. Throughout its five-year run, the show featured well-known guest stars in unexpected, gritty roles. Tina Louise, famous for her comedic roles in the 1960s, portrayed a strung-out heroin junkie in season one. Yvonne Craig took on the role of a felon's girlfriend accomplice, Julie Gregg played an addict, and Michael Margotta depicted a dismissed homosexual recruit, showcasing the versatility of the cast. In a curious twist, Telly Savalas, battling his own struggle to quit smoking, was often seen on screen both sucking on his trademark lollipop and smoking. The character acknowledged the smoking habit, confessing to indulging in lollipops every day except Sundays as a substitute. This unique trait added a layer of authenticity to the portrayal of the detective. The series not only unfolded on the tough streets of New York, but also showcased the detective's struggle with vices, mirroring Savalas' own battle with smoking. The interplay of gritty crime and personal struggles created a nuanced portrayal that resonated with audiences.